Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and it's Tuesday today. So happy Tuesday. It's time for stories and stamps. So today I'm actually sharing a kit with you. And why a kit? How exciting is that? Well, I'll tell you what's exciting about it. Let's take a look, and we'll start the storytelling. When I first became a demonstrator, I was so excited to be able to share something with my kids. Now, believe it or not, I was not a crafty person. I did not like crafts. I hated the idea of making something that would just end up in the garbage. So my idea of crafting with my kids was baking cookies or um, gardening, that kind of thing. So I was really excited when I discovered stamps, ink, and paper, because that was something we could sit around the kitchen table and do and, and actually... Um, enjoy together and I found it useful and meaningful. So I'm sharing this kit with you in the hope that you will share this kit with someone who's never stamped before. Share with your um, friends, with your children, grandchildren, elderly parents, anybody. It's wonderful, it's rewarding and then after you've made it you can send it. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to show you the envelopes. Look at how cute. So there's nine, nine cards in this set and three of each. So there's these rainbow ones, there's these, this, and there's this one. And I love them all. And then you've got, all, there's no stamping in this, believe it or not. You could stamp in the inside. There's all these um, sayings. And there's this big set of die cuts. There are also some pretty um, iridescent gems. They kind of catch the, the colors. And there's twine. And there was a hair. If you were really, really observant, you saw a Jackie hair. And then there's these. There's two of those. So what I'm, I'm going to stick with English this time. I have made some in, in Dutch as well. But so you just take out the, the die cuts that you need. And I'm not going to do them all. I'm going to do one of each. And then I'm going to show you something different that you can do with one of the pieces that I'm kind of excited about. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. But I am excited about it. So let's start with this one here. Let's fold it in half. Now our kits are super reasonable. If you go online to stampinup.com and then you go under kits, I will have a link in my video so that you can see it. Um, so what we're gonna do with this one is first we're going to put a one of these sticky things. It's a little dimensional. So it sticks it and it gives dimension. And what we want to do is we want to add a big loop to this. So I take the string and I'm just rolling it around my hand twice. Okay, holding it up like so. And then we'll cut it. I've just got a last suit of string now. And then where I've cut, I'm going to put that on that. And then I'm going to make a figure eight, turn it, and press it down. There. So now we've got this loopy. I hope you don't need this. Pull that one off, Jackie. And then I'm going to take an other strip just for some extra. I'm going to put it like so beside it. And then try to get this off. There. And now that's going to go like so. Add a little in there, but it doesn't have to be perfect. The twine can really have a mind of its own, and it likes to twist. Goodness gracious, there, just stay, behave. All right, there we go. And now I wanna add a little something extra and in case you forget, there are instructions that come with this. I have since lost said instructions, here they are. So if you think you know it all, you might, but it does tell you, see, how to do the little loop-de-loop. -loop. Their loop-de-loop -loop is better than mine and then thanks, you're the best. So now we're going to take out our little you're the best. Black and white is just so great. And then we're going to put another one of those little strippies on there and that will hold our twine where we want it to go. See? And then if you like, you can add some of the pretty little bling bits. Now, see, I wanna know, okay, it went all the way to that side. There. Isn't that fun? What a nice card. Happy, wouldn't you be happy to get that in the mail? And then it even comes in this beautiful envelope all right, on to card number two, which is going to be I appreciate you. So then we have this card base right here. Fold it in half. Lovely spring colors, don't you think? 
And there's a really nice little piece that's hiding on my desk somewhere that's going to make it look like this. Hmm. I found it hiding under some things. So what you need to do is just pop out all of these little hearts. So yeah, my story is that you want to um, connect meaningfully with your loved ones. And you don't want to set the bar high when you learn something new. So when you're learning how to make cards, start with an easy project. Um, I used to kind of turn my nose up at kits, but you know what? When I'm having a hard day, it is just so nice to have some mindless fun. And you know what? Don't think too highly of yourself because you might think it's mindless and then you still make a mistake. So check out the instructions and, um, and then if you do make a mistake, show yourself some grace. It's only paper and um, it's kind of neat. You can put this in a Google search too and then maybe you'll find ideas of what other people have done. And you know what? If you're creative, you're thinking, oh, I can make something else with all those hearts. And you know what? Your kids will. They are going to want to make things that are different than what's in the instructions. Kids are naturally creative. They like to do their own thing. There, we've cut them all out. Now we're going to flip this over and we're going to add some of these strips because what we want to do is we want to pop this layer up so that it gives a little bit of a shadow effect. And I don't know how many you need, but I'm just going to put a bunch on. Maybe one on each side. There, they're super sticky. These are great little things and if you have leftovers, you can use them for other stuff which is always nice. I forgot to show you the box that it comes in. That's a great box that you can re-gift as a, um, when you put your cards in there to give away. And don't forget, handmade cards are a wonderful gift to give to people who don't make cards. Because have you ever gone down the Hallmark aisle? Cards are expensive these days. So if you make cards, it's just a lovely thing. Okay. I'm wearing a blouse today that has big baggy sleeves and it's actually not a great thing to, to draft in there. These foam sticky things are super sticky. So there we have it. And now we want to say, I appreciate you. And goodness gracious, oh, here it is. I thought I'd used them all up. How is that possible? Here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to flip it over. Put one of these super sticky strips on, just one. We're going to make a loop of twine. And here it is. And actually, you know what? I'm going to look at my instructions to see which way I was supposed to loop it around because it does make a difference. Scissors, trim. Wow, it doesn't make that big of a difference, let's be honest. Let's have a look and see. Oh, I see it in the picture already. So it's supposed to kind of go like, okay, if I'm directionally challenged. It's supposed to go, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to lay it down like that. And it's supposed to go like this. This has to be in the middle there. Look at that. Now it's exactly how I want it to be. That was clever, except for my loop eater that's twisted there. Okay. I'm happy with that little solution here. See, and that little bit of string just does add something, doesn't it? Although, ha, do you see what I did? My I appreciate you is crooked. Oh, good thing I didn't press too hard. There. How nice is that? Now you can, if you like, add the little gems. Here we go. Here they are. You can add those wherever you want. I think that they might be nicer on, on here. I'm not so good at adding gems. It must have to do with my lack of, what I think is my lack of creativity. There. We've got a few on here. The children will take care of this. My mother will spend a long time agonizing as well over the right place to place a gem. And I get that. And see here, my loop is crooked again. There, we we'll tuck it under. See, I'm a, I can be a little bit of a perfectionist, but doesn't it just make you happy to look at these bright cards? Yes. Okay, are we ready for card number three? This one has a nice rainbow. Take a peek. Fold it in half. And now we have our thank you that's going to go at the bottom. And they have a little trick for us this time. And I did not look at the trick before and I, I did it wrong. I will admit. Okay, so here are the instructions. There we go. And it tells you 
Oh, no, I don't see it. I think there's a third piece. There's another place. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And, and you're thinking, here's the... First they put the... I want just wanted to say. See, and I did that all wrong. So that's good to know. Let's have a look. Just wanted... There we go. To say... There we go. Then we put... Let's flip them over. And on the to say, that's where we're going to put the loop the loop. Isn't that interesting? Okay. I'm going to see if I can do the instructions after making fun of them. We're going to see how I do. So we're going to put a piece of foam there. And then on the to say, I just want to make sure this is right. The to say has the... Mm, yeah, see, that doesn't make too much sense to me. Let's take this one off, and we're going to put it where it needs to go. It's going to go like so. Just wanted. There. And then the to say, I'm taking the flipping this off. See, and then it has the, it's going to go like so. I'm just going to do it like this. I can't think straight. So that, that loop here, we're going to make that loop. It's just like a shoelace loop, okay? So I'm um, you make a loop like so. Pretend you're tying your shoes there, and then you're going to cut it. And then I'm going to turn it once. There. I'm going to lay it on my card. Okay, that just makes me happy to there. And then, see otherwise I'm not sure which end this was going to go on. And then I want to move this over a little bit. Like so. Beautiful. And then on this piece, we're only... Oh, goodness, my two say is crooked. There. There. Now we're only going to put this on the bottom of the... See, and it was actually supposed to go over this far. Okay, I'm going to pick my two say up. Told you it was harder than it looks. So we're not going to make fun of kits, are we? No. Okay. So now on this one, we're only putting a strip along the bottom. Man, I'm getting a hot flash from the stress of it all. It's not supposed to be stressful. And you know, if there's anything that you don't like, if those bows are driving you crazy, then you know what? Don't do it. There. So now I'm just putting this on like so. And here we have, and look, it hardly sticks out at all. But you know what? I did my best. Look. It's cute. And now with this one, you're going to add a whole lot of these cute little things here. This one. I've got some stuff stuck to my fingers there. And like I said, the littles, they don't stress about these things. And then I'll put some here, there, and maybe one on the other side. There. How cute is that? And my, you know what? These aren't perfectly straight. That's okay. Who said they have to be straight? You know what? You're the boss, and it doesn't matter. There's card number two, and here's card number oh, three. Now, my last idea was to do with this. I'm going to sacrifice one of these. So now, if you have followed me for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of the assorted memories and more cards and envelopes. They come with small cards that when you fold them in half, they're three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And the big cards are six and a quarter by four and a quarter when they fold it in half. So they're nice and big. I am using a small one today. And I'm just going to grab a clear block and give this a good fold. I'm just going to hold the corners where they belong and give this a nice crisp fold. So now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to lay it on like so. Let's see. How did I like so. Make sure that the top is even. I don't have any tape here that I could use, but that would be fun if I had that. I don't, but I'm going to use blending brushes, and we're going to use this as a mask. Isn't that a great idea? Okay, I think I'm going to start with Sweet Sorbet, and I only have so many of the little brushes, so I'm going to start with a big brush. And just do this. Start on the top, and then it will get lighter. 
And then maybe at the bottom, I'm going to do some as well. And I'm just playing here, okay? So you guys have to be nice. Um, there's no plan. I'm just going to hold this block. It's going to hold that in place. Then I'm going to go with Highland Heather. And I don't have a... You can wash your brushes, just so that you know. Um, I didn't, so I'm just using what I have on hand. And hopefully they're not going to transfer bad colors. There. And then we're going to use a little bubble bath. And, and then we're going to add some parakeet party. And we'll see what this looks like. And then we'll use a black sticker. I, I have no idea. Like, this is the fun. And you can join me in figuring out if this is going to be pretty or not. And now what color it down at the bottom? I think we're going to use a little boho blue. And I don't know if I've gone with too many colors. We're going to find out. I'm just going to slip this in. Oh, I moved things. That's not good. Let's see. Okay, that looks good. Got to make sure it's even. Oh, it's going to look so pretty. And then you can use this mask again and again. I'm just trying to. Okay, that's good. Oh, I'm getting ink on my fingers. Balmy blue. I don't know, boho blue. Okay, are we ready for the big reveal? Let me close up my ink pads. I'm going to build suspense, okay? But I, on, on the other hand, I need to close up these ink pads. I have five ink pads that are open now. And I'm wearing a light-colored blouse, and I do not want to get my sleeves in there. I am not known as the best laundress. Getting out stains is not my strong suit. I, I get giddy with excitement when I'm successful. Okay, are we ready? Look how pretty. I'm so happy. It looks so good. And you know what? Why don't we make this French? Tu es fantastique. Here. Although, you know what? That is nice. I could do that. But I am in Holland. And so you know what I'm going to put on there? Your bent and schott. Look at that. How nice is that? And we're going to pop that little thing up with our little poppers if I can find them. I, I did find them. And now you can just see how awesome it is to have a kit because you never know how you're going to use what you have. I'm going to use a little bit of that twine or maybe no twine. You know what? Let's do one without twine. Just simple. How cute is that? There, I did have a little, you know, it doesn't it? Well, guess what? We could. That's an embellishment opportunity. As soon as I find my embellishments, they... They're under my pile. I should take my camera out and show you what, what we're working with here. It's incredible. I have a whole stack of, of hearts, die-cut hearts, and I cannot find the pretties. So you know what? Oh, 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 I found them. Here they are, underneath the blending brush. See, I wonder if I could just put one here. Yeah. I'm going to just cover up that little... Look at that. I'm not sure if that adds to it or not. Ah, you know what? It's fine. Let's put another one here. People are just going to know I need to put a third one. Just kind of let them fall where they go. Anyway, it's a fun card and maybe I should add some more of those squares. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Where Would you add more squares? Would you take the squares off and just own that little um, spot? And are you planning to use this technique? I'd like to know. Anyway, fantastic kit. I'm so happy you joined me today. I'm looking to see if I can find the, the instructions. But you know what? Everything is buried. So we're going to call it a wrap. And I hope to see your comments because that's the way we can visit together. I read your comments. I reply. Give me a thumbs up. Share on Pinterest or Facebook. And uh, together we can change the world one card at a time with Happy Mail. 
Have a super day. Bye.